You kind of have to make your own opportunities, and mm -hmm. I really wanted to showcase my talent and even to be able to learn from other people because there were so many monologues out there. There were so many um, actors and writers that were contributing and, and working so hard to make such great pieces. And so I found that so interesting. So I, I made, I think I, I uploaded three, and I think one of them, uh, along with the writer, got top 20. And it was, it was just the moment where I was like, wow, maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Sure. And uh, you know, maybe there is something more to this. It's not just a feeling in my gut. It's something that I might be really good sure. at. It, g it gave you a taste of you know, what, what this could be you yeah. know, for you as a career. So it was, it was such a shock, but it was really great. Um, when I found out that I had placed top 20 and among so many amazing people. And yeah. I've been thinking about, they have other challenges and I've been thinking about doing it, but I'll go for know. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Great. So I want to talk about the TV show that you mentioned. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about that. So it's entitled Breakfast in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. And it's a comedy. It's actually a, it has a laugh track and things like that. And what's great about it is that it brings together the the comedic the comedic differences between ha being an Indian from America and being an Indian who lives in India. Uh -huh. So the premise is that um, I'm one of three children, and our family, our father is American, and our mother is a Tamil Brahmin woman from India, uh -huh. and they end up moving from New York uh, back to Bangalore, and it's the comedy that ensues between that cu those cultural differences. Sure, yeah. um, and I can already, you know, think of the different <laughs> stereotypes that you might uh, be portraying in that show. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about the content itself? Yeah, so. It's basically, it revolves around, although the parents are involved in the show, it's mostly revolved around the kids. And so I play Tara, the eldest daughter, and she is a bit whimsical. She's very airy. She's uh, more traditional mm -hmm. than the other two children. And so she's very excited to move to India. She can't wait. But she also has this other side of her where she wants to save everyone. She wants to do good. That's why she wants to be in India. Mm -hmm. And so she takes it to another extreme where she's, trying to save every dog on the street and she starts collecting them and it's the the comedy that comes from just an NRI coming from from America coming back to India and the things that Indian people don't necessarily they're like what are you doing yeah. <laughs> you know that doesn't make yeah. any sense and so that so my character is a little bit naive but also good hearted and so then we have um we have a sister, I have a sister and a brother on the show as well, and they're more Americanized. Like one has, um, my, my sister Shweta, she has uh, pink, and, pink and purple hair, mm -hmm. and she's kind of... Watch the remaining show on ITV Gold. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable, channel 1539. ITV Gold is America's first full-time television channel that caters to the South Asian community. Your favorite dramas with English subtitles, watch movies, back-to-back -back songs, award-winning local news coverage, and much, much more. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable, channel 1539, part of the 8-channel combo pack for $39.95. And our East Coast viewers can also subscribe to ITV on RCN, channel 476, and... Cablevision on channel 1168.